but I'm not trying to downplay the situation. And your life is going to be very different for the many, many years you're likely to be with us for. How does that sound? I don't know. Um, I guess I wasn't expecting you to tell me all this. I... Mm. I never thought I might actually be feeling a little bit hopeful. Guess who the odds are that you will be here for your child and every chance that you will live to a ripe old age. Well, apparently they've spotted Johnny Cooper today and they've got the area roadblocked, so it won't be long before he's back in custody. So the sooner the better. See, there is justice in the world after all. Jeff, they haven't caught him yet. They will. That doesn't prove anything. Yeah, it does. Guys like Johnny Cooper go to jail. Okay, bad people don't get away with doing bad things. Well then, how come Miss Fletcher got hurt in the first place? Where was God then? Honey, we've been... And don't give me that stuff about things being sent to us to test us because it's just an excuse. And I know, I know you want me to believe it, I can't, not anymore. Because if I do, and something bad happens, and I just... I can't do it. And what's the point in being good? What's the point in having faith? Outside, they, they thought they'd give us a moment alone. Your brother, eh? It's a bit of a turn up, isn't it? Yeah. Long story. Yeah. I, I know. Don't worry. Pippa's still me. So you're home? Moray called me on the track and I got back as fast as I could. Thank God you're okay. Glad that you're here. Where else would I be? I know what happened, love. It was that mongrel Johnny. Just, just try and relax. You, you need your rest. It was amazing. I know everybody else is going to think that I'm crazy, but not you, Mr. Stewart. I know you'll believe me because it happened to you. does sound a bit like what happened to me with Arthur. I couldn't believe it at first. I, I thought I was losing my mind. I doubted myself for a long time after that. But at the end of the day, I knew in my gut it was real. And love, if that's the way you feel, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm not saying you should go and shout it from the rooftops. In fact, be pretty careful about who else you're told. Because some people won't believe you. They'll tell you it's just your imagination. And the more people that tell you that, the more you're likely to question yourself. But I can prove it. I, I can prove that it's real. Tom said that Cassie is pregnant. So if I just... Talk to her and and it's true, then I'll know for sure. Sal, I'm on your side. I believe you. But I've been there myself and I know what people are like, that's all. Tom said something else too. He said that if I chose to come back, someone else would have to die in my place. 
so if it's real, if that's what happened. Love, right now you should just concentrate on getting well. Put all that other stuff out of your head, eh? Wait until you feel stronger. You just told me that I need to believe in what I know to be true. And that's what Tom said to me. All right. So it's true. You're back here and someone else has to die. Sal, I bet this some old bloke up in the geriatric ward who's had a wonderful innings. He's probably sitting around up there dying to fall off his perch. I'm sorry, look, they're not the words, but you know what I mean. And if there's got to be any sort of square up, I bet you that's what it is. Sal, I love seeing Arthur again. Yeah, the way I did. I, I wouldn't trade that for anything. But I've got to tell you, it really messed me up for a while. Don't let that happen to you, love. Jack, thanks for letting me know. Uh, okay, well, Cass and I can stay here and, until it's all sorted out back home. That's fine. All right, mate. Yeah, we'll do, mate. Okay, bye. How'd you go? Okay, don't fall over. But for the first time since I found out, I think I might almost be feeling positive. And I mean the other type of positive. Positive, positive. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but it looks like Rachel was right. You might be stuck with me for a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Dr. White's got patients who have been living with it for 20 years, and they're still going strong. See? So will you. Well, it's still going to be tough. Anyway, I can tell you the rest in the car. Do you want to go? Hey, um, well, I was thinking, since we're, we're here in the city anyway, why don't we just stick around? And do what? We well, can do whatever you would like to do. It's your choice. Maybe I've gone completely crazy. I'll even go shopping with you if you want. OK, now I'm starting to think you might be the one who needs a doctor. Uh, do you want to stay? Yeah. Sure. Do you want to call Sal let her know? Oh, uh, look, I, I left a message. It was pretty vague, so it should be fine. Let's go, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flaming miracle the way you two found your way back to each other. Well, thank goodness Miles was here when we needed him. It was actually his blood that saved Sal's life. Yes, thank you. Mate, um, if you need a job at all, I could probably rustle something up for you in the surf club. Are you going to be sticking around, Alf? What about the road trip? Ah, well, I got a bit sick of living out of a suitcase, and after a while, every country town looks a bit like the last one, so I thought I might give it a miss for a while. Well, it'll be nice to have you home. Sorry to be a wet blanket, but visiting hours are almost mm. off, and this one needs her rest. Yeah, you get some sleep, love. We'll see you in the morning, eh? Oh, yeah, I will. See you. Love you. Hey, Alf, can you stay on it? Oh, I'm sure it could probably wait. No, he wanted me to tell you. Who did? Tom. What? Sal, um, just remember what we talked about, eh? Yeah, it's okay. He wanted me to tell people. <laughs>